Now let's see how we can use Cocos Builder to actually uh, start creating some user interface elements. Now uh, you saw in my game that I'd created the HUD and the menu and a few other bits and pieces. And you can see that, that what I've got here is some uh, separate little files for all of my um, different uh, resources like my menu and stuff. And uh, you can see it actually builds up a complete node graph here uh, where I have um, a CC node subclass uh, holding uh, my actual menu items uh, which all appear differently and I have my animations, I have my images here all all built up into a node graph and this, this um, does get quite complex for a bigger project. So let's go ahead and create our new uh, HUD layer which is going to be a landscape. Uh, again it's going to be a layer so it's going to start off full screen and uh, we're going to create this as a separate file. I could put the layer inside of this but it's it's kind of handy to actually have these things separate so otherwise I would have bound that into uh, this particular room. Now given that I want to create a scene with a different room, I might want to use my HUD in all the different rooms, uh, I want to actually create that inside of a separate CCB file so I can load it in as a, a resource. So that's why I'm creating a new document here. Go click, click Create and again I'm going to put all of these things into my um, uh, One Resources folder. I'll call this thing Button HUD. Save that. Now this this HUD is, is you know, it, it could be like an inventory or something like that, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have it occupy the uh, top 30% of the um, project. Move it up the top here. Now just so we can actually uh, see it and have it do something, it's going to be a layer color which is going to uh, fill up 100% of its parent and I'll change the color to something a, a little different. Uh, let's say it's going to be a green kind of control layer -y sort of thing. Onto that uh, we're going to have a couple of buttons. So we're going to have our control button here. And we have another button which we'll call the quit button. So we should be able to just click Publish, which is going to send it into our Xcode. Go over here to Xcode and uh, add in the new resource. So we should have uh, our button HUD. There it is. What we want to do now is actually get our um, our little uh, start room to load up our buttons uh, when the start room is displayed. So in order to do that I'm going to make my start room uh, into a custom class. That's actually pretty easy to do. Uh, now if when you click on your CC layer here you do not see our code connections with our custom class uh, what has happened is that um, your document settings are still set to JavaScript controlled. So uh, just check that. Um, our button HUD here, 
So actually to switch to button HUD I can either change to this tab or I can double click my CCB file which is going to take me there anyway. So we go to document and we've got to double check that we do not have our JavaScript controlled on. Um, so going back to the start room we're going to make this guy into our custom class so we're going to call it room which gives us the ability to create these custom properties. So we have to go back to Xcode now, we'll save that, publish everything. Uh, we still don't have any new files back from what we already had, so uh, I shouldn't need to add anything to Xcode. Uh, so now I'm just going to add in a new uh, Objective-C source code file into my project here. So I go new file, Objective-C class. So it has to be a subclass of whatever the thing was that I actually created. So it's a CC layer, custom class room. So I'm subclassing CC layer. This has to be a subclass of CC layer. I go next, add it into my CoCostitute project. Go create, and now I have my uh, my room all set up here. When Cocos Builder creates this, it's going to actually run a ah, uh, geez, is that the name of it? I think so, something like that. Anyway, let's just test this out. Let's just see if this does actually get called. Okay, so we can see um, down the bottom here uh, that uh, Cocos Builder was very kindly instantiated our new class. It uh, put our artwork and everything, it's all in there, and it's calling this uh, did load from CCB, uh, which is pretty nice. So that gives us a hook where we can go in there and we can do whatever we want. Let's see, we'll create a custom class for this guy too. So it's going to be our button HUD class. And we will publish that over here. Button HUD pointer. That's our button HUD. All right, cool. So we'll have to add our class for that. We can synthesize our button HUD, which will be, I like to do it this way. Do it like that. When we have our load happening, we're going to go um, self set button HUD to CCB reader. load a node graph from out of the file called button HUD. And lastly, uh, we just need to add our new button HUD into our little uh, setup right there. Let's see if this is going to run for us. Yeah, okay, so we have our nice little uh, HUD layer uh, setting up here.